Happening today, a second bus carrying migrants is now here in the city from Texas. The governor of Texas sent these asylum seekers after a war of words with Mayor Eric Adams. CBS 2's Christina Fan joins us live from the Port Authority bus terminal where that bus arrived this morning. Christina? Good morning, Cindy. That second busload of about 14 migrants just got here, and immediately all of those families got into waiting taxi cabs who took them to their final destination free of charge. We want to show you video of Mayor Adams greeting that crowd in person, and he says this is the New York City he wanted the asylum seekers to experience, a place that is supportive and compassionate, unlike the starting point of their journey. Texas Governor Greg Abbott started busing migrants to New York last week as he battles with President Biden over immigration policy. On Friday, the first bus with about 40 migrants arrived at the Port Authority bus terminal. Abbott says they were removed from Texas border towns that are overwhelmed and said New York City is an ideal destination because of the abundance of city services and housing Mayor Adams has boasted about. Adams today blasted the move. It's unimaginable uh, that what uh, the governor of Texas has done, when you think about this country, a country that has always been open uh, to those who were fleeing uh, persecution and other intolerable uh, un 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 conditions, uh, we've always welcomed that. And this governor is not doing that in Texas, but we are going to set the right message, the right tone of being here for these families. The mayor today also asked for federal help and for Texas to better coordinate with them. He also told us that the bus started off three days ago from Texas with about 40 migrants, but somehow only 14 arrived here. He says many did not want to come to New York City and asked to go to different destinations, but were not given a choice. Reporting live from Midtown, Christina Fan, CBS 2 News. Christina, thank you.